What's going on guys, Shane with another Fight Tips Quick Tip. So the question today is how often should you spar and how hard should you spar? Now this is a question that I often wondered as a fighter myself, but even now as a coach, how often should I throw my fighters in the ring and at what rate should they be sparring? 50%, 75%, 100%? So this is a question that pops up a lot. A lot of people wonder this because they want their fighters to be prepared, but they don't want them to be injured. They want them to know how to deal with certain situations, but they don't want them to be more susceptible to knockouts because they're taking big shots in sparring, right? So as many of you know, this past weekend I was up at CSA Gym, which was a dream come true for me. You know, Coach Kirian is someone who I idolize, and he's got some world-class fighters, Gaston Bolanos, Kevin Ross, and these guys spar each other often, right? So when I was up there, I asked them, I said, you know, how hard do you guys spar? How often are you throwing elbows at each other? So this is what he said, in a six week fight camp, right? Get them ready in, in about six weeks time. He will have his fighters spar hard uh, three to four times, only three to four times in that month and a half span. Now this is Muay Thai mixed martial arts. I'm gonna do a quick disclaimer here, not boxing. Boxing, you are gonna be doing a little bit more. I've noticed that the gyms that I trained at, I trained at three separate boxing gyms. And whenever we were sparring, we were going pretty damn close to 100%. Other guys would come in from other gyms to our gym and we'd spar, like I said, close to 100%, all right? Reason being is because, well, one, I think those guys are very old school yeah, at the gyms that I was at, but also it's just hands, it's just boxing. You're not throwing kicks and potentially colliding knees. Um, you have the headgear on, so no elbows are being thrown and you're not gonna get sliced open from headbutts, uh, no head kicks or anything like that. So it's just punches and yes, you can suffer a broken nose, or a broken jaw even, stuff like that can happen. So I think you will do it a little bit more often in boxing, you will go hard, but in Muay Thai, in mixed martial arts, and I agree 100% that you should be doing no more than four hard sparring sessions in six weeks for a training camp, right? You don't wanna get injured. And a lot of injuries do happen in training, in sparring, okay? So even though they're only doing it a max of four times in a six week period, he does have them do light technical sparring two times a week. What is technical sparring? It could be a, a, a number of different things. It could be just body shots, punches and kicks to the body. It could be one person is throwing kicks, one person is throwing punches, and then you switch. It could be three set strikes, and then the other person defends and then throws three set strikes back. This way you're working your accuracy, you're working your reaction time, you see punches flying in at you in either direction, but you're not risking losing brain cells or becoming more susceptible to knockouts because you suffered one three weeks before a fight, right? So some things to consider, all right? And it's, it's gonna change other fighters and other coaches have different beliefs. Fighters like Robbie Lawler don't even train or don't even spar hard. I've heard he does maybe one hard sparring session if you feel like he needs it. Otherwise, he'll just do mitt work. This brings up a good point. Mitt work is super important, super important. You can still throw punches. You can still have your opponent or have your, your fighter react to these oncoming shots and they can still work their accuracy throwing back to the pads and make it very realistic to a fight. With that being said, we are finally releasing our Mitwork certification course tomorrow, all right? So if you wanna become a boxing coach, we have tons and tons of drills that you can do on there. We, we laid out a six week fight camp program that you can follow day by day, right? Daily workouts that you do Monday through Sunday, exactly what to do, how long you should run for, the mitts that you should do, how often you should do it. We break everything down for you. And then we also have 19 videos on there for selling people, selling personal training. So how to pick up clients, how to pick up fighters and make money, make a living out of being a coach. That's all being released tomorrow, all right? So please check it out. Links in the description below for my fight gym uh, and the certification course should be right there and should be somewhere on the screen right now. So check it out, guys. If you, if you really wanna expand your horizons, you wanna learn the ways of coaching, please check it out. There's a lot of stuff on there. You're really gonna enjoy it. And tomorrow starts the early bird special. So there's a really good rate on there now. It's gonna, it's gonna bump up a lot after a week from tomorrow. So check it out, don't wait. If you have any other questions, contact me on Twitter, at Fight Tips, and I'll try to answer it in a video like this. And also follow me on Instagram. All right, you can see a little behind the scenes, you can see my workouts, you can see fight videos and all that good stuff. And subscribe so you can get the Fight Tips before your opponent does. Until then, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.